Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and I'm Spice Scott today. I'm going to show you the final thing that I acquired from Crystal Palace that is for me, and is Star Wars. And it's this box is a little bit battered, so instead of being four pounds, it was three pounds that you see there. And it is, of course, the Snow Speeder from The Force Awakens, which I do have the um, the larger uh, vehicle size of this. That was also in a very battered box, if you recall, that I got from the Disney Store in Sunderland a couple of years ago. But yes, this is very nice. Yeah, there you see the other sorts of Falcon. What is that? It's just a standard TIE fighter. The Republic gunship, an X-Wing, and the Falcon. And then, of course, it has the finger guard. So, let's just pop this open. Does it want to come out? Oh, it's metal, uh, a bit heavier than I thought it was going to be. So you see there, and he's got his red pauldron, the snow trooper. So that's the two snow troopers in there. One of them manning the gun, one of them piloting. Can't remember if my other one has the gun on the front or not, I'm not sure. But very nice. Let's just pop it onto its um, holder, the stand rather. Get it in right. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's a little bit low. <laughs> it's a little bit of um, white out on this because of the light, but it's very nice. I mean, we've done the in-depth on this vehicle previously, but yeah, this is actually a really nice piece. And it does feel like it's made of metal rather than plastic that some of these are. But yes, very nice. It's a pity we didn't really get to see this. In the Force Awakens, because it's an interesting vehicle, and obviously there was nothing like this in the Last Jedi. Maybe in Episode Nine, who knows? But yes, very happy with this. So there it is, going across and then back again. Pew pew pew, coming right at you. <laughs> yeah, very happy with this. I've got a bunch of these vehicles now. They had several others, but ones I've got like. The U-Wing, um, the Partisan X-Wing, the uh, TIE Striker, the ATACT, the, all that sort of thing. But this was the only one that I didn't already have, and I thought I would acquire it. Not bad for three quid. I have paid a pound for those sorts of figures in other places, but one to three pounds is okay. I would have thought four is maybe pushing it a little bit, and five or more, it's just like, no, it's not worth paying that for. But yes, for three quid... Not bad at all. Very nice. Very happy with it. So, yes. There you go, guys. That is everything that I've acquired now in Crystal Palace today that I have now unboxed or presented to you. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.